moved out of the way by Garrett Korn. Got a man of the Hayvilles right in front of him, but somehow they keep going. One car is off the pace on the back stretch. That's Shelby Neal. Now we got a huge stack up. Holy cow. At least three quarters of the field involved in that one over there, but. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Mid Pack Mania. Hope everyone had a good holiday. We just finished up Christmas, and this week we're going racing. So this weekend is a two-day race. This is the race that they moved nationals to, the one that got rained out last time. Unfortunately, we can't make Saturday. We'll be there Sunday. Sometimes you gotta make money instead of spend money, and I got booked to DJ a wedding on Saturday. So we'll be there, but we will be there Sunday. And because it's a one-day race, I think we're gonna take the 707 Pure Stock car out. Uh, if you watched the last video, you saw my buddy run that, my buddy Sammy. And if he doesn't run it, then I'll end up running it. But regardless, I wanted to take it out to at least one barn race this year. And the four cart's almost ready to go. we got a few things to patch up still. Um, clone racing at the barn isn't the most civil race, so things break, especially with the fiberglass body. If you watched the last video, also you saw we had a lot of chain issues with the sprocket guard. This is the one that was on there. It's all bent up, really scuffed, and yeah, it's history. We borrowed this one from our buddy Wesley. It was also a nine inch, it was a little bit wider. We didn't get a chance to run it because the show got rained out, but I think we figured it out now. We ordered a 10, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half inch. Uh, it was gonna be just a little bit too big. I think you're supposed to run these on one side, but regardless, it was gonna be too close to the ground to where if it snagged on something, it was gonna tear up and it wasn't gonna solve our issue. So we found a nine and a half, got it all fixed up to where the chain, or uh, to where the, yeah, to where the chain sits in there nice and, nice and uh, low. Got nice clearance all around it. Hopefully we won't have any more problems with that. We also ordered a few more gears. Hopefully find the sweet spot that we haven't found yet with the RPMs to pull the most power out of this motor that we can. Um, and then another factor is we just had Thanksgiving and Christmas and I'm hoping I didn't gain too much weight to slow me down on this. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, get the four all ready to go. The 707's ready. Like I said, we're going to have them both out there. Sunday race and we'll see you guys out there. Halfway home this time by 10 and 10 to go. Matt Wood starting to fall off the pace a little bit. Now the 25, Mitch Cornelius just absolutely wheel the 25, PJ and Christian Hickman. Hickman and McCulloch still going at it. White flag is out for Jeremy Hanna. Hanna down the back stretch. He's got a two car length down for Matt. Matt Wood is not going to get there in time. And Jeremy Hanna wins the clone feature. Matt Wood second. Donald Heiser third. Stephen McCulloch fourth. And in fifth, it is Christian Hickman. Tyler CB, he's pulling away from Carson Perkins. Best battle on the racetrack is probably the one for third between Rivero, McLean, and Caldwell. Tyler Seed will have one lap car to deal with by the end of the race, and that's the 54 of Alan Sanders. But it should not be too much of an issue for him. Kind of seems like Perkins is starting to reel back in CB just a little bit, but he's running out of time. As Jesse Caldwell goes through the end to lose a spot to Dominic Gordon. CB makes it by Alan Sanders and the white flags out for Tyler CB. Down the back stretch in the three and four. He'll lead all 25 laps and cash in for $2,000. The Card Nationals goes to Tyler CB. Carson Perkins in second, Josiah Ribeiro third, Casey McLean fourth, and in fifth, the 52 Y of Dominic Gordon. 
All right, what's up, guys? It's Sunday morning. We're getting ready to head out to Chowchilla for points race number five, I believe it is. It's kind of hard to tell because there was a rain out that I missed yesterday, so pretty sure it's race number five. Regardless, we're taking the 707 and the four card out there. We'll be running pure stock and clone. Same is not coming, so I'll be running both of them. There's usually a class between. Hopefully, it's the same format today, um, so we're not having to run back and forth too much. But regardless, since I missed yesterday and there was a rain out, I really wanted to get... A little extra racing in today, so that's what we plan to do. Hopefully it goes that way. Shout out to Tyler CV last night. Uh, he won the $2,000 in the 500 Open class. One of the Red Bluff guys coming down, showing how it's done. And then shout out to Jeremy Hanna in the clone class. Won the $750. One of the local guys over here, one of the, uh, the regulars at the track. Shout out to him going out there getting that money make sure you guys check out speedshifttv.com i'll put it right here and i'll put a link down in the in the description below um, they do a lot of great work and that's where those videos came from make sure you go on subscribe to them watch those videos and tons of other ones they do all the red bluff um, i think they're doing the rest of the chowchilla races regardless it's worth every penny because they do a lot of great work for us out there so anyways we're heading out to the race we'll check in with you guys once we get out there So we made it out to Chowchilla. Um, it's about 41 degrees with rain on the horizon. It's a little bit blue over there, but the wind's blowing that way. So we got both carts signed up, 707 and the four cart, Pure Stock and Clone. We'll be running both of them. Uh, the track, as you guys, I think I posted a little video of it. They re-ripped it from last night, even though it looked pretty good last night, but we'll see how it comes in. They watered it, so it's probably gonna be a little bit wet all day, especially if it starts raining. Rain's not supposed to be here for a few hours, so we'll see how it goes. I think we go up to start qualifying in maybe an hour and a half or so. Pure stock will be first and then clone. So we'll see how we do today. We just finished up qualifying. We qualified, I think, 10th out of 15 in pure stock, and then 12th out of 14th, I believe, in clone. So we'll be in the second group for pure stock, and I think the first group for clone. Regardless, I feel like the clone, the, the forward cart, felt really strong when it was out there, but turns three and four is a killer, and it's really wet and muddy. They're out there trying to work it in now, so we'll see if it's any different um, for the heats. But if it's going to be the same, I feel like we would do about the same, but as long as the track is is nice and not really rough in the corners then we'll do all right so we're making some slight adjustments now i think we're going to leave the pure stock the way it is i think i added uh one tooth on the sprocket but we're going to get back out there and see what we do so we'll see
just a really quick update because we're getting rolling really fast today. Uh, both heats went pretty well. The cart handled a lot better. Fear stock got a little bit out of hand up top, and that's what really kind of kept me from finishing second or third. But regardless, I think we're starting 14th, it says. Row seven outside out of 10 rows um, in pure stock. And then clone, I've worked right in the mid pack too. So um, yeah, hopefully along with both carts handle the way that they just handled in the heats, we're gonna be good to go. But we're starting right in the middle on both of them. So we won't have to do as much work. We just gotta avoid all the, uh, all the carnage that's bound to happen. So we'll see how we do. off the pace on the back stretch. That's Shelby Neal. Now we got a huge stack up. Holy cow. At least three quarters of the field involved in that one over there, but
We just got out to my dad's house. It's uh, Monday morning, gonna get the trailer unloaded, uh, assess the damage. We already see a few things that happened with the car. It was a, it was a bit of a rough night, but regardless, in Clone, we finished sixth in the A main, uh, which is, which is pretty cool because it's the first time we made the A out there, and it was a, it was a lighter crowd, but it was still pretty much all the fast guys that are usually at the track. So. Regardless, I'm happy with how that went. In Pure Stock, we finished seventh, it said, but then three of the guys got DQ'd in tech, so we moved up to fourth, which is still cool for the first time running Pure Stock out there in the 707 car. Um, but regardless, the uh, both carts really took a beating. So we're gonna get the trailer unloaded, assess the damages on that, and uh, yeah, we'll see how bad it actually is. So first and foremost, in the Pure Stock main, on like the second lap, you guys saw it was really. It was really quick, um, but it was a pile up in turn one, two, um, and there was really just no way for me to avoid it. I, I locked up the brakes, I got turned sideways, and I got T-boned really hard. Um, and that's that's the aftermath of this. When I was in it, I couldn't see how bad it is, but it felt like the steering column was bent because it, my leg was getting pushed into it. Uh, well, this all kind of looked normal just from, from the helmet, but then... You look it was bent in so bad that whenever I would turn even just that far the tire was hitting it so I was able to finish the race but uh, yeah luckily I had this indestructible plastic body on because if it was just the nerf bar it would have probably been a lot worse and they would have came right through my lap because this was already pushed over but that's all that is so if I was to get hit the car would have probably drove up on top of me um, so luckily, I think that's all that's wrong with the 707 car. The 4 car, uh, I didn't even think it was this bad. But at one point, uh, the whole graphic saver got torn off of this and broke this piece. I don't even know exactly when that happened. Uh, but the glass body needed to come off anyways. It was getting pretty beat up. But the major thing, and this is another, I don't know when this happened. But a major thing is the chassis broke right there. Luckily, it's right where the weld was, um, but yeah, we noticed that after the race. I don't know if you can get a better look underneath where it is, but hopefully it's in a spot where we can kind of fab it, repair it right there. It's not in the worst spot because there's already a space here, and it's just a little crossbar that kind of holds both sides together. So um, yeah, like I said, hopefully it's not the worst spot, and we can so we could probably fab it up. What sucks is I just got this card at the end of summer, at the end of the Hanford series. The first time out in it, I took a first place, my first win. Um, and then the second time took it out, I took a second place in limited modified, which was cool. And then we switched to a clone motor to run the barn this winter. Um, so that card's fairly new to me. And I was really bummed out to see that something that major had happened. But like I said, it's not in the worst place. Hopefully we can get it fixed up. The 707, we just got to get this bent back out and it'll be good to go. So. Regardless, it was a rough night, but I feel like it was successful because it was the best that both carts have handled. My dad, the crew chief, um, really, really put some work in on both carts between runs and got it to where it handled perfectly in the main. So, anyways, I'm not, I'm not upset with how we did. I'm a little upset with the damages on the carts, but aside from that, it was a good night. So, the next race is, I believe, January 11th and 12th, and we'll be back out there then. Thanks for checking out Midpack Mania.